What's up YouTube? CJ Extreme here to talk about WWE 2K20 My Career trailer. Saw it on the Up Up Down Down channel on YouTube, of course. We got a lot of screenshots here. I'm not exactly sure how many. I think I have uh, 10 in relation to what's actually in the trailer. Um, made sure that I, I made it clear that it was a reaction in the title, so hopefully nobody's confused. And with that, let's get started. So it's screenshot number one. We have the uh, we have Selena Vega, and we have <clears throat> Andrade Cien Almas. Looks like they're at the Money in the Bank pay per view. We have Red, that's the name of the uh, female character, and we have Trey. I'm not sure if that's their names permanently. I guess that I guess it is. That's fine. I guess so. When I make my characters, we'll we'll uh, have to work around that. It doesn't really matter. It's all good. Should be fun. Um. So right after this kind of shows Charlotte on the outside on the floor while Red's climbing up the ladder trying to get the briefcase. So I'm assuming that's what this is and your character comes out and you try to help her uh, win the matchup or whatever. Which is going to be pretty cool, I think. Um, I'm glad that they added this, but I'm not really sure how this is going to work. Like, I guess it's just going to be a cutscene. You don't really get to play as your guy in this one. You just focus on Red, which is fine. I think this is going to be, I think this is going to be really cool. I hope there's a lot of uh, cutscenes. One thing that they really missed out on uh, in WWE 2K19, when they have cutscenes in the game, um, the ones where they're not uh, in a wrestling ring, there's no music in the background. So it's just kind of like you're just listening to voice acting. And that's cool, but I'm just like, just add some, you know, add some music to the background would be nice, you know, make it more immersive. But nevertheless. It's not torture if you're paying for it. I assume that's what it says. Looks like you're at some sort of training facility and I actually noticed in the background, they have like a bunch of masks and I think they have Buzz's mask in the background. Not Buzz's mask, um, Baron Blade's mask from the last game. So that's a cool Easter egg. I don't know if this guy is related to Baron Blade, if he was trained by Baron Blade. I'm not exactly sure, but um, that's cool. They also said that there's gonna be podcast. Um, this is not something I learned myself. I saw this in someone else's video talking about it. Um, apparently, they're going to have a Buzz and Cole Quinn show on the podcast and stuff. That's going to be really cool. I don't know what other podcasts they're going to have, but that's cool. I like that. Um, looks like you're at the training facility, and I'm not sure how it's going to work. going to do like mixed tag matches while you're trying to get out. Not training facility like WWE, but like an underground training facility. But anyways, not sure if you're going to try to like work your way up out of the indies again which i'm perfectly fine with if that's the case i'm all about that 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 should be fun um or maybe not i'm not exactly sure how this is gonna go but i'm definitely interested to see how it plays out so far i'm liking this now this next one a little bit weird because i thought they were gonna do the uh 2k originals i keep calling them 2k stories in the last videos 2k originals I thought those are going to be their own thing, but it looks like this actually includes uh, both Red and Trey, and it looks like there's some fire to kind of block off um, Red from getting to the ring. So I guess Trey has to go on his own here and fight Kane and Undertaker. And there is a list, and I'll show you that next, but it relates to this. On the list, it says, like, find out what's in Undertaker's urn. I thought it was just ashes. I thought that's what it was, but... I think that was just for that CM Punk and Undertaker rivalry back in WrestleMania 29. Maybe. I'm not sure. But it's weird, though, looking at this. So they have this arena for that. Are they going to use it for just a 2K storyline? Uh, or, I mean, my career? Or are they going to use it for 2K Originals as well? It seems like what they originally planned on doing, if I'm not mistaken, they were like, oh, we're going we're gonna to actually do a bunch of different arenas. For every single uh every one we know we're going to make our own arenas and all that it's going to be all custom made and some and it's something new to the game every time and then you'll be able to play in those arenas as well actually scratch that i don't know if you'll be able to play in those arenas separately but anyways they're in the game i can't tell if that's like a boiler room or what i can't tell where that is but it looks really cool i do like it a lot i will say that i like that they're sticking with the more zany stuff in uh wwe games Making it more interesting because like it's cool to like you know be a wrestler professional wrestler but it's like 
It's also a video game, like you gotta keep that in mind. So how do you make it fun? And I like that they're doing this. Added something like this to the game to make it interesting. What, I, what I'm wondering is, if they had this for the guy, you know, where he has to do his own thing, fighting Digger and Kane and all that. Are you gonna do something like that for the girl too? Or something like that? Also, noted throughout watching this trailer, it seems like Red is the one who's going after like championships and really only up and up. And it seems like Trey is more like um, an underdog and he can't seem to catch a break. You know what I mean? But I don't know. All right, so they have star in a WWE action movie at the top of the list. Then it says come up with awesome wrestling names. And it says team up with Mickey James. Um, get my own action figure. Compete on NXT, win a dance off, wrestle Lita, find out what's in Undertaker's urn, and then they, I think they added something else to the list after this, but it's just like a checklist of things you're going to do um, in the WWE career mode, I assume. I hope there's some stuff that's not on the list that's in the game, and I assume that's exactly how it's going to go. Um, they're like, oh, you know, this is on the list, this is on the list, this is what we're doing. But then, like, along the way, there'll be some roadblocks maybe to stop you from doing that, which I'm down with. Apparently, um... Your character, Trey, is having a hard time, as I mentioned before, and it seems like he he wants to be in WWE and he can't. Like, it says, oh, it's show them that you belong. And he's like, I will. It's on our list or whatever, so it's cool. I guess they're, like, best friends, which is fine, you know, not really forcing a relationship or whatever. It seems like there's branching storylines, or that's from what I hear, but I don't really know. Like, you could say, oh, you can choose this, and you can choose that, but then it could be the al illusion of uh, choice, as it did a couple of times last year, where whether it was um, picking who you want to face for the United States Championship when you defend the championship, or what match you want to face Braun in, you know what I mean? Illusion of choice in that regard. But I don't know, I didn't, like, choose to not align myself with Baron Blades. I don't know if he was going to, like, cheat and cost me the title afterwards. If anyone did experience that, let me know, because I didn't, I didn't do that option. But this year, I guess they'll still have that. What I'm hoping for is you can do this. You can have the female be a, um, a heel and the male be a face, or the male be a face and the female is a heel, or both are face or both are heel. I just think that would be pretty dope. You know what else would be cool? Mixed tag championships. That would be freaking dope. I actually wouldn't be, you know, too upset about them because, you know, they, it's a new match in the game, sort of, not really. But, uh, I actually would be pretty cool with them if they did a, uh, the mixed tag mixed match challenge in the game. I don't want it to be like the G1 Climax style where you have to face everybody or whatever. But a little tournament in there, you know what I mean? Maybe you do a tournament and you get the uh, contract to join WWE. That would be pretty sick. You know, a man and a woman get to go. That would be pretty dope. I would like that. Um, maybe they will do that. Maybe I just like, you know, predict something that's going to be in the game. Or maybe I'm freaking way off. Who knows? So I took this next screenshot because I was just kind of noting that all the cutscenes that are in the game that I thought were cool. And it looks like you're at maybe a retirement home or someone's residence in uh, Canada. And how do I know it's Canada? It's because, well, they kind of really hit you on the nose. You must be looking for Bret Hart um, A. And they, you know, stereotypical thing that Canadians say I guess I don't know I haven't met a Canadian that says that ever but apparently that's the thing anyways I wonder what they're gonna do here one thing that I would like all I like interactivity with the environment in WWE games I think that's really cool a cool aspect to add every year if they can and what I'm hoping for is that they have um, more backstage brawls in these areas that they're showing like oh you can brawl in the um, in the retirement home. I don't know, man. Fighting in the boiler room. Fighting in a swamp. Fighting everywhere. Just more options of places to go so that the game feels fresh because there's so many things you can do. Like, they had the Wyatt compound in Dirty 2K19, but it was so buggy. Like, you would throw them and it would hit, like, a very huge hitbox of, like, a wall that wasn't really there. It was just weird. And then you had the house right there, too, but you couldn't go inside the house. Like, come on, dude. Like, I admire that they tried and they added this stuff, but I wish they would have gone the extra mile. And it seems like that's what they're doing here. But I don't really know if they're going to, you know, have you go inside or whatever. I don't know about that. 
The next one, it looks like Trey's laying down and maybe Red is there too, I can't tell. But it looks like they're in like some sort of graveyard. Maybe this is the place you go to get to the, um, to get to like the world that um, Matt Hardy's from, the Woken Matt Hardy thing. Maybe that's what they're gonna do, I don't know. I can't really tell, but it's a really cool screenshot. And again, I'm hoping that you get to interact with the environment and that you get to fight in it. Otherwise, it's gonna be kind of weird just having it there. I mentioned this earlier, how it seems like Red's gonna be like a, the top dog in this story, kind of like she's the one getting all the championships and stuff like that. But I'm looking and I see Pete Dunn, I see Drew McIntyre, Sheamus, and I think that's Finn Balor all around the ring and then Becky Lynch and Red inside the ring so I guess Becky Lynch is in like this UK stable kind of like what's in um what's in what is it called what was it called WWE 12 which was a cool game nonetheless but it was you know had its ups and downs but <clears throat> regardless of that I think that's really cool that like the characters in the story aren't just you know bland aren't just the same old same old which is cool you know what i mean like they all have their own have a different character like last year braun was actually kind of a heel which was cool it was cool to see um sasha banks teaming with you you know what i mean like they they weren't all just like sticking to the characters in real life they all had their own interesting thing going for them which was cool so hopefully they do a lot with that I don't know what the hell this arena is. Freaking unicorn world, rainbow, freaking sunshine, uh, my little pony. I don't know what's going I know what it is, okay? I know what it is. Calm down. So, if this is not playable in the game, I will be upset. I want to fight in this arena. Give me what I want. Give me what I want. Like, I'm totally down for doing matches in this arena. I'm totally fine with that. That looks, like, that's a really, really nicely designed arena for the new day and i hope they have more arenas like that and they probably do but having those kind of arenas in the game just again just makes it more interesting there's other environments to play in one thing though that's probably not going to happen i don't think you can go on the crown in this arena but if you can i want to like suplex someone off of one of the pancakes i want to fight someone on top of one of the unicorns um i want to freaking you know tie my opponent in balloons and have him fly away and then he loses because he can't compete no that's not gonna happen but still it's still cool that they have it there and i really hope you know you can do a lot with it if you can't man but there are other arenas that i noticed but we saw them in the other trailer where it looks like they're going to be in 2k originals but they could just as easily they could just as easily be in this uh story mode i didn't take the screenshot but i also saw that mickey james um and red team up together and they face who is it? They face the Iconics and they're hitting them with guitars. I can't tell them what they're hitting with, hitting them with, but that's gonna be cool. That's gonna be cool. I just, I'm kind of excited, but I'm not at the same time because it could be really, really underwhelming for all we know. But hey, two weeks away, I believe, right? 14 days, two weeks away from today and it'll be here. And then we'll, um, we'll know what this game is for sure. All right, so last two pictures here. I'm not gonna cut out the audio this time because I have a limit on how many I can do, which sucks. Anyways, um, we have Velveteen Dream teaming up with Trey, and they have a double entrance here. I call it a double entrance because it's a wrestler who doesn't normally do tag teams, and he's doing his entrance with someone else involved. Last year, they had Finn Balor and uh, Buzz together, and they had, um, what happened? I don't know, I just thought it was really cool. I can't remember what happened. Dang it. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Double Demon Entrance. And then they also have Buzz with AJ Styles and... Who was it? And Finn Balor. There you go. And it was like a, a unique club entrance, which was fairly cool. I hope those are still in the game. They also had the van entrance where it was like Buzz and Baron Blade coming out together, which is cool. I think this should be really fun, you know, having entrances like that. One thing that I feel like they've missed out on over the years, which I thought would be cool, but I guess they don't really have the time, is that they took, you know, finishes from different wrestlers and put them together into like a double finish, you know, 
what if they had uh, you lock in the figure four and then like you your tag partner goes to top rope and does a um, frog splash like Eddie Guerrero? What if they had um, Haluba kick into a pop up powerbomb finisher? What if they had a uh, super kick into an RKO? You know stuff like that. It's just crazy combinations. GTS into a freaking F five like. I really felt like they'd be selling that. Stunner into a rock bottom. There's just so many that I can think of, but I guess they just don't have time. It sucks. But they have these double interests, so I guess, you know, at least we get to have that, right? That, like, that would be a really cool new moves pack. What if they were, like, just took moves that are, like, already exist and then made variations of them or something like that? I don't even know. But final picture. We have Brock Lesnar, and he's chasing down Samoa Joe's got a baseball bat, and he's holding uh, Paul Heyman by his neck. I don't know what this is. It's in the micro remote, but I don't know what it has to do with anything. Like, why is he going after Paul Heyman? It's like, I don't, I don't understand, but I'm interested because it's cool to see Brock Lesnar in this story because he wasn't in last year's story, so that's cool. Samoa Joe has a bigger role in this one. He had a big role in WWE 2K18. Now he has, excuse me, one in WWE 2K20. I'm not sure what they're doing here. Not exactly sure what's going on with the scene, but I'm definitely interested to see how it plays out. Overall though, with this whole thing, with this whole um, shindig, I really like what I've seen so far from this game, if I'm being completely honest. Um, I think when it comes out, I'm going to have a lot of fun playing it, and I, I'm pretty damn sure people are going to get their videos out before I do, but hopefully you guys, you know, you stay around, stick around, and you wait for me to upload it, and everything will be cool, you know what I mean? So we got FWF that we're going to do on Dirty 2 k 20 the Christmas Classic, we got the, uh, My Career Mode, you know, this is going to be fun, I think, and I just hope you guys are just as excited for it as, as I am. Two weeks away, man, two weeks away. I got the deluxe edition, so maybe I'll get it early, I hope. Anyways, see y'all later.